There he is, brothers. Kill him. Victory. I see you, Bard. There he is, brothers. Kill him! Got a crane to report, fill out the parchment, in triplicate. If it's a missing person, forget it. People come to Dunmi to get lost, not to be found. In fact, I can't really help you with much of anything. Those druids are the real law around here. I've nothing to report. I'm just passing through town. Hey, good luck on that. A lot of folks trying to pass through and not many succeeding. Say, you want to see something funny? Why not? I could use a laugh right about now. Hey, which one of your sorry lowlifes is the chosen one? I am. I'm the chosen one. No, I'm the chosen one. I must fulfill my destiny. No, he's not. I'm the chosen one. I will save the world. <laughs> that cracks me up every time. They come to town talking crazy, taking on monsters twice their size. Got so bad I had to lock them up for their own safety. Say, you aren't one of these chosen ones, are you? <laughs> oh, no, not me. I'm all about wine, women and song. Pretty much in that order. Wait, make that women, wine and song. <laughs> yeah. Well, look here, Boyle. You just stay clear of trouble. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. A chosen one of many isn't new. When you think you're full of luck, you move forward till you get struck. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. One would think that fame and glory could be bought. When it comes to chosen ones, there are a lot. There seems to be too many. I don't really think there's any. A useless pile of bunk is what you've got. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. The prophecy is never coming true. In the pickle you'll be stuck. Like a chicken you will cluck. Oh, it's bad luck to be you. Just a second is not true. When your life is run amok, you will see that you're the schmuck. Oh, it's bad luck to be, really bad luck to be. Nobody could disagree. It's a freaking guarantee. It's bad luck to be you. It will be you. If you have nothing to report, you'll need to go. And if you do, well, it doesn't really matter, does it?
This is my home. What do you want? Depends on you. Got any daughters laying about? I've no daughters nor money for the likes of you. Brothers, the bard is over here! You there! What do you want? You're him. You're the Bard. The Bard's at the gate! Call out the brothers! Hold back. George! George! Somebody in need of healing? Drow sprayed! Victory! Bard, you owe me a fortune for this. I haven't slept well at all lately. I have this huge boil right on me. Wait! I knew we should have done our rituals this year! Our crops are ruined!
Step right up and show them what you've got. How about entering our little contest and showing off your talents? The prize is well worth the effort. I could use a bit of silver. I'll enter your show. I'm coming to you from the far reaches of Hooten, the Bard! Hurrah! Yes! Yes! Hooray! Hooray! Yes! We have a winner! Well, well, it really was the bard in that contest. Get him, brothers! We triumph! Brothers, the bard is over here! Back off. Be well. There he is, brothers! Attack. <laughs> there he is, brothers. Kill him. And stay down. Crossing through the occupied city, the bard eventually found his way to the local pub, which somehow he always seemed to do. The Aiken Drum was the popular hangout of drunks, the unemployed, and reprobates who made their living on the streets. The bard, of course, felt right at home. I'll tattle a tale that is terribly true Started out as a rumour but suddenly grew And it deals with a man and a horse and a ring So settle on in and our song we shall sing It happened one day in a ring by a farm Something that tragically brought so much harm How could a place of bun it with charm Create such a beast with a spear for an arm? And death and destruction is what you'll get One is coming for you and your kilt you will wet And he's big and he's strong It's quite plain to see that this is the tale of the knuckle of the Knuckle of the, knuckle of the Are big and evil and heinous who could it be a set you free? It really must be an anus. 
Oh, knuckle of me, it's easy to see in the terror you leave. It's raining on me, the village is burned, and the taverns are missed, and the beer's all gone, and the elders are pissed. And if they ever should find the fool, hang him upside down by his tool and spin him around until he gets sick. <clears throat> ah! I should do the trick. Hey! Knuckle of me, oh knuckle of me, the terror you offer is high class. Who could it be a set you free? I really must be a dumbass. Knuckle of me, oh knuckle of me, the horror you furnish is widespread. Who could it be a set you free? I really must be an ox head. Everyone knows no blood should spill in the sacred ring by the farm on the hill. And if this ever happens, then death you should fear. He'll kick in your nuts and he'll serve them with beer. So one final thought before I depart. And this, my friend, come straight from the heart. We'd all be fine if not for that bill and that horse-killing wanker who opened up hell. Knuckle of thee, oh knuckle of thee, we cannot win, we must admit. Who could be a set you free? It really must be a dim wit. Knuckle of thee, a knuckle of thee, are big and evil and heinous. Who could be a set you free? It really must be an anus. Welcome, friend. I'd heard ye'd come to Doonby. Many in the city have. It's been many a winter since a man's come out of the north on his own two feet, and not in a pine box. I noticed I seem to be quite popular with the locals. Aye. The princess knew ye'd have to pass through here on your way to your next stop, so she had me waiting in this godforsaken city to lend you a helping hand. You've been a great help so far, let me tell you. Nobody likes a smart-ass son. I couldn't have helped you get past them patrols. Those druids have been tearing the city apart looking for you. They'd like nothing better than to stop you from freeing Our Lady. They'd have done for me easily. Of course, of course. Well then, what kind of help can you actually lend me? I can help you out with a bit of information. There's a man lives west of here. Goes by the name of McGrath. He's the caretaker of the Shadow Axe and you'll need it to get into the next tower. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I rescue his cat, or steal him a gem, or find his long-lost betrothed, start get the drill. Everyone wants a piece of the bard. <sighs> Ugh! It's a cynical man ye are, but maybe that's what kept you alive this long. McGrath is one of us, lad. He's keeping the axe for you. All you have to do is go get it from him. Don't suppose you could have had it waiting here for me? And risk it falling into the hands of these druids? That would truly be daft of us. It's a big enough risk I take meeting you here. Use your head for thinking and not just yapping. That actually makes sense, but I can do without the lip. Remember, I'm your saviour. Get your arse out of here and head to Greenlands to find McGrath. I must have met a dozen chosen ones on my way here, and every one of them a dangerous fool. Steer clear of them if you can, my friend. Have no fear, lass. The rat is gone. Slain by my magic. Whoa, well, you are a heroic fellow. My thanks for your help. Here, tis not much, but you did me quite a service in getting rid of that rat.
There he is, brothers. We triumph! Death to the Bard! Back off. Attack! There he is, brothers! Kill him! You boy it great <laughs> now I can show my old man I could run things. I mean it's not my fault it takes me a while to figure things out. He's the one who dropped me on me head. What have you got to stab and bash with? We got all sorts of swords and um stuff. Ah, interesting. That's Dirk. It's made out of silver, uh, which is kind of like gold. It's more silvery, you know? Just what I was looking for. Oh, huh. good choice. Show me your swords and flails. We got all sorts of swords and... Um, hmm. This looks interesting. A <laughs> look boy axe. I think that's what it is. It's named after the baker down the street. I think his name is Lockerbie. I'll take it. Good choice, mister. If you go sailing, you could even use it uh, for an anchor. I'd like to see your bows. Bows, huh? Can you tell me about this? Wait, it'll come to me. A short bow. Ah, uh, no. A long bow. A dark barb long bow. Ah, no, wait. Black thing bow. A bow. Yeah, a bow. That's it. Just what I was looking for. See you, old man. Nothing going on here. Victory! Shimmering particles of light danced in the air, shining there in the darkness 
they dampened and suppressed the bard's magic. Knowing that he must now venture forth alone, without the help of his songs, our hero readied himself for action. to her. Am I good or what? For King! I have taken my measure of thee. No, I can't do that right now.
what rocks? Painful. Where am I? Attack! I'll get him! For king and country! For King! Time to get paid! Hello, sir. Do you fancy antiques? I've been collecting them for years. You're the only thing I fancy. Ah, I know your type. I'm not that kind of woman. Be off with you!
We triumph! I told you to go. Don't let the doorknob catch your arse on the way out. There he is, brothers! Kill him! There he is, brothers! Kill him! He eluded our traps. He's stronger than anticipated, Master. You men go to the tower. Once he's inside, seal the doors. Even should he defeat Manon, and that tower will become his tomb. Yes, my lord. McKay, I have a special task for you. This bard seems more than a match for the men. He is indeed, Master. However, if we're given another chance, I'm sure... We're running out of chances. You must face him. Intercept him before he reaches the tower. Take my pet with you to ensure that he does not survive. He doesn't stand a chance. Charge! Charge! Death to the Bard! We triumph!
You continue on despite our efforts. If you can call what you've done up to this point an effort. You are so going to rue this day. We know what you're Mendel. up to. First the forest tower, then through the mountain pass for the mountain tower. Mendel. And now, now you're going to try to get through Stromness to get to the island tower. Well, Mendel, not on my you watch. Idiot. Thanks for the tip, Mendel. That should make finding my way to the final tower that much easier. You knew already. Don't pretend you didn't. I mean, I mean, that's not really how... Seriously. You knew, right? At least I didn't say anything Silence. about the... You think you can slay our brothers and not pay a price? I think I pulled a groin muscle fighting one of your druids, if that makes you feel any better. It's time to cause you a little more pain than that. Oh, I don't know about that. Have you ever pulled a groin muscle? Haven't you learned by now that you can't hurt me? Oh, I think I can hurt you, my friend. Nice dog you have there. Allow me to introduce my pet. My God! Now you'll pay. Today, you'll do the paying. For king and country! <laughs> Another one down! I'll miss you, little friend. But by God, I'll avenge you, I swear it. This isn't over yet. Saddened by the loss of his faithful companion, the bard somehow found a way to carry on. With a tear in his eye. It's not a tear. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. I, I, I've got something stuck in my eye. Oh, have it your way. So, with something in his eye, the bard left behind his stiff-as-a-board pup and continued his quest for the Shadow Axe. Victory! Rocks are my friends! Needs cracking. Though the grass of Greenlands was beautiful, it was permeated with danger as the dreaded Redcaps patrolled the land.
I have taken my measure of thee. Have at the fiend. For King. Who's egg needs cracking? Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. The bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. A powerful ranged shot, which passes through its target, used with the ranged skill. <laughs> the bard soon came upon the tracks of some dread beast. Even as he examined the tracks, a fellow who clearly had a serious problem approached. Oh, laddie! Come again? Well, maybe clearly was the wrong word. I'll tell you, but I feel but cut your down, run your rig, but rug and throw! Tell you what, spit the rocks out of your mouth, then we'll talk. A ball, no knuckle there. Oh, oh, what's your gun in your blood? Are you still a fool? Would it help if I just killed the knuckle of it? Well, of course. Now get on your guy, you want the Christian scum. I'll take that as a yes. Charge! Attack! Attack! I'll get him!
I have taken my measure of thee. Thou art Oh ma hold the skull it did it all the tip tussle You better be thanking me. I'm betting that you're the man I'm here to see. Are you McRef? I am uh, 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 uh. Well, I almost think Dugan is playing some kind of joke on me. Dugan! Dugan, say oh, you made me a bird, you stole Well I'll do it, I saw this day. Oh bloody hell. Looks like I'm going to have to drag you back to see Dugan. Maybe he speaks whatever it is you're speaking. With McCrath in tow and the knuckle of nothing more than a memory, the bard headed back to Downby, hoping to decipher McCrath's ramblings and move one step closer to earning his reward. Reporting for duty. Dad needs cracky. Attack! Oh, get the him! The knew that he'd better keep his new companion alive, at least long enough to figure out. The happenings at the local cemetery told the whole story, and it was not a pretty one. The dead were rising more frequently, and the land was becoming more and more chaotic. Hopefully, McCrath could clear up some of the mystery. Ah, oh, kid, it was a bad sign that they began to raise their grey. They smitten my mammy and I with ho ho to the lab. Get it off, host it. Oh, the tower on that one. I wish I knew what the hell you were saying. I don't even know what he's saying. I'm the best. Time to get paid! For king and country! No, I can't do that right now. Gang on and fix that shut up. Ah. What on earth are you gibbering on about this time? Oh, you corn beef! Where's that play here, Dawn? This relationship is out of order. Yeah, the entertain gang on and Next. Bard found an insignia and an epitaph commemorating a fallen Lord of the Macrath clan. The epitaph read Lord Border Macrath, 
Our Lord was born in a darker time, where hope came on the edge of a blade. From his courage and bravery, our Lord died in the brighter days he had made. This epitaph read, Lord Pershing McGrath, our Lord is remembered for his undying faith. He raised our family from lesser ranks. He humbly sought the best for all, and our benefits demand his thanks. An epitaph. It read, Lord Merrimont McGrath, our Lord is left beneath this mound. We hope some happiness he has found. We know he lays without a sound. So says his mistress, who cut him down. An ominous marker presented itself to the bard. It read, Here lies the bard. May he rest in peace, no longer making life miserable for those around him. Not funny. Oh, maybe not to you. Oh, very well. The epitaph read, Lord Apono McGrath. Our Lord, who brought prosperity, his wisdom lent without brevity. His death brings tears from above, and with him dies all our love. It was obvious that the bard had a fascination with the dead. This epitaph read, Lord Lockin McGrath. Our Lord feared his wife more than he feared death, and with his butter knife took his last breath. The epitaph on the grave marker read, Lord Fabian McGrath. Our Lord was known for his angelic voice. Over hills and moors his song would carry. Not a subject could rejoice the day he ate a nightshade berry. Need me? him!
We triumph! I see you, Bard. There he is, brothers. Kill him! You gotta help me here. I can't understand a bleeding word he's saying. Is this even McGrath? What do you mean? Of course that's McGrath. Ask him a question. Hello there, old friend. How are you getting along with this young scamp? Oh, oh do the brother say no, no, this bonny lad will be him for the not live at some drop of list. Ah, he's speaking in a rare Scottish tongue. I forgot that most people these days don't know it. Fortunately, I do. What's he on about? So far, just that he's grateful for being rescued from the monster that some idiot released. But I'll get more information. Tell me, Mayor, what happened? Here's Gordon! The on the rose of the grain of took my castle! Off the old at the town and he's great! Oh, take them behind the axe! Ominous indeed. Tell you muck around at the little bit of my castle! He can retrieve the shadox! Oh. You'll like that. What? Which will he have to give? I'm a back to the rooms of my castle, and it's shown the entrance. There's a trick of door leading you into the end dungeons, but I got the key. Clever. Come again? I'm certain he'll help. But it's ten and not get through those dungeons and ties, says Princess, as I'm so well their champion. Of course, I wouldn't barely make an out of your kid, right, girl? I thought to say the myself be a blind bit, but I am pretty certain. All right, that's it. That's it. What are you two on about? Right, here's the deal. McGrath's going to take you to his castle. Well, the ruins of it at least. Only if he buys me dinner first. Where he'll open up a trap door that leads down into the dungeons. What's inside? The Shadow Axe. Like I told you before, he was holding it for you. He had to leave it in his dungeon when all the trouble started. I've instructed him to take you to it. Now we're talking. What else? Ah, just some undead warriors. Now, once you have the Shadow Axe, you'll journey south along the coast. Wait a moment. Undead warriors? How many? A few. A score. Well, which is it? A few or a score? It's a big difference, you know. A few score. And when they're all dead, you'll head south to the coast. The third tower is located on a small island just offshore. You should have no trouble securing passage to the tower. Right, I'm off. It's getting dangerous around here. Well... Anything to say? Oh, give my shut up, that guy, can I? <laughs> Sorry, I asked. I see you, Bard.